Greetings from quarantine. Uh, I am still Doc Nix, and uh, it is still an honor uh, to be the director of All Things Green Machine. And uh, even from quarantine, we are uh, still going strong in whatever ways we can figure out. And uh, there's a lot of um, exciting stuff to come, uh, especially this evening as we get to just go over uh, some cool things that we've accomplished in the last year, uh, actually even beyond, and um, just another great chance to, to be together. Um, it's been a real pleasure going over the material and figuring out you know, what this presentation is going to be, looking through a bunch of really happy pictures and videos, um, really getting a chance to think about uh, the contributions of different members, um, not only this year, but over the time that we've been together. And uh, so uh, just, uh, yeah, I've just been really happy to uh, be reconnected with everybody through this process. I definitely have to thank uh, Josh Cruz and the uh, Green Machine Media team. Um, there's been probably a lot of late nights that they're not even telling me about um, putting all this all together and, and figuring out how to, how to put this jigsaw puzzle um, so that it's smooth. Uh, so thanks to y'all and, um, and then let this whole presentation serve as a thanks um, to everyone who has put their faith in us and has contributed their hard work and their passion and their talents and um, gone out on a limb with us trying to do amazing things from uh, performances in weird, weird places, uh, performances at uh, World Championship baseball games, uh, high school gyms, um, battlefields, uh, you know, university uh, ceremonies, and all all the different ways that uh, we're able to serve and continue to be us, and um, and even some in cyberspace. So uh, that's what's uh, that's what tonight's about, and um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting to the awards. So here we go. My name is Joe Antonucci. Uh, I head up the Dirty Gold Brass Band. Um, we are a, a modern brass band with uh, roots in New Orleans jazz. And we've got a little bit of, I mean, at this point, we've got a little bit of everything that we do. Our entire mantra is to bring lots of energy and excitement um, and make people's lives a little bit better. My award is going out to uh, Thomas Tyra. Uh, Thomas has been uh, an absolutely integral part of uh, Dirty Gold for the last few years. Um, he brings uh, a certain energy and enthusiasm to the performances we have that um, I think, you know, make, uh, make our performances uh, more electric, more exciting. Um, and he really uh, ups the, the level of the performances that we're able to give, both from, uh, you know, seeing him dance around just like you would in Green Machine and just bringing that same kind of uh, exciting energy um, all the way to his uh, musicianship. I mean, you know, considering that he's one of uh, only a very few number of uh, undergrads in uh, in the group. Um, I mean, you'd never tell. You'd never be able to tell. He he is uh, an absolute monster tuba player. Not to get too musical, but he's you know the the foundation from which the rest of the brass are able to uh, to bounce off of. You know, we, we just totally are able to vibe off of his uh, his musicianship and his energy. It's also totally worth mentioning all, all of his help with uh, uh, logistical stuff, all the way from um, just helping make sure that gigs uh, go smoothly and um, helping make sure that we have more awesome material to play. His arrangement, Frankenstein, is uh, has quickly became one of our like staple tunes. And uh, I, I think it's, it's one of the things that uh, we can easily point to as a group and say that we have so much fun playing it. So I, I really have no reservations in uh, acknowledging Thomas for, for all of his help to uh, Dirty Gold and uh, can't wait to see what he has uh, in store for the future. Uh, we know he's, he just got uh, accepted to grad school. So congratulations, Thomas. Uh, we're all rooting for you. Yeah. 
Can you stand up? If I have one wish, I'll be holding my hand. Best believe we can make the plan. Everybody gonna think that they got something. No, we the mother of man. Yeah, that's how we do. Bring all that we see. Hey, this is Shane Nichols, the director for the Campus Drumline at George Mason. And it is my pleasure to offer the director award to Matt Rice. Matt is always the first one to show up to class and the last to leave. He is a natural leader that always pushes everyone around him to perform at their best. I look forward to seeing him in my ensembles in the future. Good evening, everybody. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Chris Triano. I'm the ensemble director for the 8th Green Machine Regiment Band. We are the Civil War Brass Band here with Green Machine Ensembles. Uh, a little bit about the band first, for those of you that don't know. We play music from uh, the 19th century on brass and percussion instruments. We're starting to incorporate getting period brass instruments for the ensemble as well, so instruments that were made in the 19th century. And we play polkas, marches, waltzes, patriotic tunes, all from the 19th century, specifically uh, mainly focusing on the Civil War era. This year, we had a few performances, but much like much, uh, much of the rest of the Green Machine Ensembles, we unfortunately had a number of cancellations as well, but fortunately, many of those have been rescheduled already for next year. We'll be performing at multiple Civil War forts and battlefields, as well as battlefield reenactments and uh, conferences within battlefield preservation societies. So we're really excited to have the opportunity to continue to do those next year when those are all rescheduled. Today I'd like to present the director award to a cornetist in the 8th GM Regiment Band. That member is Riley Bache. Riley has been a member of the 8th GM Regiment Band since its beginning. This year in particular, he was instrumental in uh, helping the ensemble transition to a weekly rehearsal format. So Riley was at every single rehearsal. Uh, he's 
signed up for every single performance that we've had since the ensembles existed. He's also um, attended many optional events with me personally. We've gone up to Pennsylvania together, Maryland together, and gone on actually a Civil War tour that takes place on the George Mason campus. There's actually a Civil War fort right behind La K. It's kind of a secret, but right behind La K, uh, there's a, an old Civil War fort that they do tours with. And Riley and I went on that tour together. So Riley is super active in the ensemble. Uh, and he's really a good lead by example kind of person. I mentioned earlier that we had uh, we have acquired a bunch of, or are starting to acquire period instruments for the band. The first instrument that we acquired was a E flat cornet made in 1860, and that cornet was played very well by Riley Bache this year. He took a lot of time to learn the intricacies of that particular instrument, and he did a fantastic job learning that instrument and showcasing that instrument uh, in our performances. So. For those reasons, I would like to award the Director Award to Riley Bache. Thank you guys very much and have a good night. Patriots Fife and Drum Corps has been around for several years and performs for the spring commencement parades around the Nova area and for different events around campus. I'm presenting my director award for the George Mason University Patriots Fife and Drum Corps to Jules Aguilar. Jules joined my group this year and always came to class eager to learn in a style that was way out of her comfort zone. I could tell that between each class, she had gone home and practiced everything that we had hit in the previous class. I could always count on her to bring her best to every class and every performance. So when I first heard that the season was ended, um, I was kind of surprised at how quickly it happened. It was just kind of like, <sighs> it, it really came out of nowhere for me personally. I was sad that we never got to live up to the true potential of the show, but I was glad that everyone's gonna be safe. To my teammates in Mason World, I miss you all a lot. I miss y'all so much. <laughs> oh my God. So my favorite moment of the season is probably that first show. We're just standing in that first set and you hear the name of the show announced and you hear the name of the group announced and you're just super excited to be able to share with the audience what the team has been working on for a couple of months back in the gym. There are so many favorite moments in this season. I remember Hillary doing a handstand in my urgent care room to try and make me smile and feel better. The one minute solos we did at the beginning of the season. It didn't matter how bad my rehearsal was going or how bad my week was or how stressed out I was. Every time Palmer was like set for the beginning of the show, I would get in that line and I'd be next to Kevin and immediately I'd be so energized. I cannot wait to audition again and to get back into this and uh, hit it even harder. 
to my fellow ensemble members and instructors, um, I miss you. I can't wait for the next season to start and to be able to make new memories. I just can't wait to be with everyone again. So yeah, thanks guys. I'll definitely see you later. Hello, Mason Nation. My name is Lindell Palmer, and I am the director of George Mason University Winter Guard. Every season, I always say that it's about the journey and not the destination. This season, we had a chance to truly test that philosophy. Though we never finished the show, this was a great season of growth and when we came off the floor after prelims at the Richmond WGI Regional, I knew that we had become a true world-class unit. And we had cemented who we were in our identity. Today, I'm pleased to present several awards. The first award is the Rookie of the Year Award. This year's recipient is inspiring to all but this year's recipient also made a huge impact on the weapon line. Therefore, I'm sending it over to our legendary weapon caption head, Carolyn, to present this award. Hi Mason 2020, I am here to present the Rookie of the Year Award. This member, I remember seeing her walk into auditions and she was just all business and something super special. I think that she set an example throughout the season with her rehearsal etiquette, her willingness to experiment with anything thrown at her, her vulnerability at times of failure, both personal and as a group, but then also her perseverance both in and out of rehearsal to overcome those obstacles. I really enjoyed witnessing this person find herself in a lot of different capacities throughout the season and enjoyed watching her inspire others just to push just as hard as she was. I'm very, very excited to see her and continue to see her develop um, as a person, as a teacher over time, and to continue to spread her talent, her wealth of knowledge, and overall just really incredible attitude um, towards her teammates and the group as a whole. So without further ado, this year's um, Rookie of the Year Award goes to Doria. Thank you, Carolyn, and congratulations, Doria. You are an inspiration to everyone, including the staff. Our next award is for the most improved. This year's recipient has always been fabulous. However, this year, this recipient also really blossomed as a dancer. With that, I'm going to throw it to Marianne, our Dean of Dance, to present this year's award. My name is Marianne Malconian and I'm one of the movement choreographers for the George Mason University Winter Guard. Today I have the honor of presenting the Most Improved Award. This year's recipient auditioned for Mason's Winter Guard her freshman year and she has been on my dance line all three seasons and I have seen her grow immensely. The first season in 2018, she was able to blend, but you could tell she had to work at it. Her second season in 2019, she started taking dance classes at, as an elective in college and she hadn't made it well known. She was more confident in her abilities that season, but you could tell that it wasn't natural yet and she still had to think through everything she did. This season in 2020, she was taking dance classes yet again. She'd taken three of them on her own and working hard at every rehearsal to absorb what was taught. She now keeps up with world-class choreography, blends beautifully, and moves with grace. She has grown from a shy background dancer to a confident, reliable dancer, holding her head high and truly earning her spot on the world-class dance line. This year's Most Improved Award goes most deservedly to Carrie Hagemeyer, Carrie, when we're able to get together again, I can't wait to give you a big hug and congratulate you in person. Thank you, Marianne, and congrats, Carrie. You know how I feel about you, Carrie. I'm very proud of you 
and the dancer and performer you've become. I'm also thrilled to have seen you grow from a high school student all the way to a world-class performer. Congratulations. This year, I asked the members of Mason World who they felt were the true shining stars in this year's production. They voted and I wholeheartedly agree with the results. This year's Shining Star Award goes to Guy Groves, Hillary Curlin, and Anthony Valvo. Guy is always serving face. Hillary is a powerhouse. And Anthony's intensity is infectious. Congratulations, all of you are amazing performers. Next, I'd like to recognize two people who I'm calling the most valuable cast members. These people don't necessarily fit into a category that is normally rewarded. However, they are also very dependable people and solid members. She is a solid member who is no nonsense on the floor, but has a heart of gold and is there for everyone on the team. He is problematic, a loose cannon, the class clown. However, he's also dependable and handles so many of the behind the scenes daily operations that no one knows about. And he does that despite the fact that I give him a hard time 24 seven. They both made my job easier and this guard better. Congratulations to Sarah Slough and Britton Bangerter. The final award this evening is the Director's Award. Obviously, this award is special to me. This goes to someone in the guard who I believe is the most essential and making sure this program runs smoothly. This year's decision was easy. She is the definition of a leader. She never complains. She does exactly what is asked of her, and she does it with a smile on her face and a can-do attitude. She was also voted by the members as the most inspiring in the color guard. Oh, and she's also our Zumba queen. Congratulations to the 2020 Director's Award recipient, Lily Smeraldo. Congrats, Lily. Finally, I love to give a shout out to two incredible leaders on this color guard. Devin Robinson was captain again this season and did a fantastic job. I'd also like to give recognition to Samboy for being a fantastic equipment manager. I see you. Thank you guys. And thank you, Green Machine.
Hi, everybody. This is Dan Shack. I'm the creative director of George Mason University's Indoor Drumline. I'm excited to present some of the superlatives today from our 2020 season, The Outlaw. Uh, another good season with George Mason. Uh, it was my fourth with the group, and it was certainly another uh, move forward and up for us, both in the quality of our members, uh, the quality and the consistency of our instruction year to year, um, continuing to build on the leadership we have with the students um, that we that we got kind of new um, starting back in 2017, and we've seen them kind of grow. And this was one of the years where it felt like uh, it, these things kind of started to to really blossom and uh, sort of uh, develop, come into their own. Um, so it was, it was I, I think, a, a strong year for us, really from top to bottom. Um, we were very lucky that we uh, kind of got on the ball early season and we were able to finish the year um, by competing with a uh, full run through. And I, and I believe um, from the beginning, our first show, we, we had the show completed. So we did get to go and, and kind of put it out there for the public rather than kind of never getting to um, get to that point where we're sort of uh, doing full run throughs and feeling what the show feels like. Um, kind of in its entire production, which is so much different than kind of doing an abbreviated version of a few movements. So, um, you know, I think that uh, was an important part of our season two, that we, we felt a, a sense of completion and, you know, really high quality throughout, throughout all the performances we did. It felt like uh, we never went out there and didn't do our, our best effort. And I'm always feeling that satisfaction from, um, just our live performances and, and what it felt like to put the program in front of the audience. And it just felt very well supported from the community as well. So I think that that's certainly notable. Um, none of our successes can happen without um, the strong leaders we have and our strong uh, students, both um, new and of many years with the ensemble. Um, so I'm excited to, to present on those students that stood out. Um, this year in 2020. It's also my pleasure to uh, present our superlative staff members that were voted on and agreed to have shown and stood out this year um, as remarkable. And, uh, you know, I'm very humbled and lucky to work with uh, such high caliber educators. The first superlative I am going to present is Battery Member of the Year, and that goes to Lucas Smith. Uh, Lucas is, I believe, a three-year symbol vet, and he is a leader on and off the floor. Uh, he is always an example when it comes to movement, when it comes to performance, energy, consistency. This is a person you look at and he's going for it all the time, never too much, never not enough. He, he rides that line and he's just a very consistent guy. And um, he doesn't get called out very much at all. And it's, it's really awesome. I've seen how he's developed since he came to us in 2018. For the front ensemble member of the year, we have Rianne Connolly. She was new to us last year, and she got moved through various instruments, uh, both last year and then this year um, as well. And she has stepped up as a leader in the front ensemble, no matter what position she's been put in. Um, she is always logistically on point. She's someone that remains positive. She's been a go-to to the members. And I think socially, she sets a really strong example for what it's like to be a member of George Mason Indoor Drumline. For Battery Rookie of the Year, uh, super proud to announce Charlie Gorham. Uh, he is, was an awesome addition to our group this year. He's local. He's a member of George Mason. And if everyone was like Charlie, we would be better. He is always on time, always working to get better. He actually constantly practices on off times. He communicates extremely professionally, and he's just really driven guy with his head on his shoulder. So um, I think we've thanked his parents throughout the course of the season to him that, um, you know, he, he's been raised right, and he, he's just a really good guy, really reliable. For front ensemble rookie of the year, awesomely another Mason student, Josh Shepard. Um, I know Josh as a snare drum auditionee for many years, and, um, you know, we're lucky to position him on uh, Zylo this year, and we featured him quite heavily, and he was really, really consistent and really strong um, as an individual player and also uh, kind of integrated himself into the indoor drumline culture. Um, another Mason student, you know, super excited that we, I think this year more than ever have gotten more members that are also in the music school and just in general uh, students of the university. And this person, um, Josh, he is just another great addition from the GMU um, 
the GMU world. For Rookie Staff Member of the Year, uh, I'm very pleased to announce Paul Nelesnik. Uh, Paul was technically a program consultant with us, but after the first few weekends, we knew he was going to be a lot more. Uh, he was uh, engaged in the battery composition, the overall teaching of the drum line, the overall musical package, the, the score from top to bottom. He's someone that thinks very holistically and we really wanted to utilize those talents. And I think that we found a really awesome kind of uh, position for him within the group. And we look forward to many more seasons with Paul. For staff member of the year, super excited to announce my good friend, Matt Penland, a friend to many. He's an awesome guy, just incredibly reliable. One of the best communicators I know, uh, so professional. And uh, Matt is just an incredibly well-rounded percussionist and he's uh, you know, an amazing quad player, an amazing keyboard player, amazing stair drummer. He he does it all. He He's just a whiz as a percussionist and really just a nice guy. Um, so it's been my pleasure to work with Matt for the last four seasons. Um, and this was another year that he uh, stepped up into a leadership position. For the Spirit Award, we have a three-way tie. So I'm going to present these uh, all sort of together. The first of that three-way tie is Ethan Spot. Ethan is well known to the GMU community, uh, Base Jesus, and he also is well known in Crown. He's been a student that has been in both those drum lines and has absolutely been an example as to not only how to operate on the floor, how to show improvement. I think he's someone that I consistently point to as having, you know, worked through our system and really reaped the benefits. He's a killer performer. Uh, visually, he's he's an example. I mean, he's he's well rounded, and he he's got it going on for him. And and honestly, he's he's been a student that's very easy to work with. He's never shown resistance to the the culture that we brought to GMU, and he's he's made himself a star student. And um, you know, I I will always uh, look to him for kind of the to get the temperature of of how things are going. So he's been he's been reliable to me, and um, just an awesome person to work with um, as a bass drummer. The second tie for the Spirit Award, uh, in no specific order, is Catherine Stone. Catherine came to us last year, and she is a synth player, but she's a lot more. She uh, works for us administratively as a member. She's one of those people that is always helping, um, making sure things are set up right on time. She has a more global kind of perspective on what's needed. Um, she works side by side with the electronics team and Andrew Matero, the front ensemble composer, to make sure that the the sounds and the music are coming out of the speakers correctly. So she's been a great example, um, sort of as a mature member that way, and and obviously also as a peer and a, kind of a standard setter for how to operate with an ensemble. And last but certainly not least for Spirit Award, I've Brendan Forrest. Brendan's a quad player at GMU. He's had a little bit of an interesting. Um, go with us he was here in 16 17 took 18 and 19 off and then he he came back this year to sort of age out with us um though we we know he can actually come back again this year and we hope he does he was also another member of carolina crown and it's been great to see his growth um from from way back and and just to see you know him develop the chops and the style and the confidence, both as a player and a person. And he always keeps it super positive on the floor. And he's someone that, that very much feels like he understands how to operate within the environment that we're looking to create at George Mason. For the Mr. Congeniality Award, we have Ari Moore. Ari is a member of uh, Racktronics or Rack Attack. And uh, my favorite story about him is showing up on Saturday mornings and Seeing Ari stand outside the gym door, greeting everyone with hugs. Uh, no, no one told him to do this. He just wanted everyone to feel good. And he was one of those people having so much fun, smiling, um, just constantly having a great time and, and really soaking in the experience. Um, and he, he just was so much fun to work with. And, you know, as a rack player, you, you do kind of get some heat because what you're doing is so specific and, um, so loud, honestly, a lot of the times it, it pops out of the, the textures and um, it's easy to kind of get on, on the rack players and the electronics players. And he had a blast with it, never, ever got negative and um, just a, a great member throughout the entire season. For best performer this year, we have Stephen Barnett. Uh, Stephen, again, is one of the crown GMU cross pollinators and um, 
he's one of the most fun people to watch drum. Uh, you know, I've been lucky to teach him however much I, I've actually taught him. He has natural ability, came to us already very prepared to be in a world-class setting. And he's done nothing but excel in that setting and push the standards of that setting. Um, it's been fun to see him develop at Crown. He marched 2018 and he uh, was going to be section leader in 20. And our plan is, of course, to move forward with him in 21. Um, and it's just to, to get to work with someone that loves drumming so much. And I think the best performer thing is just a, a symptom of how much he enjoys drumming and, and being a percussionist. And it's something you can't teach. And he is just really a joy to watch and so easy to teach. And um, he, he's been nothing but um, improving and working since really I met him. And he's always drumming. He's constantly drumming. So he has a, a bright future and a bright present. And last, we have a director's award, which goes to Sam Fleming. Um, Sam, also Joseph Noah, he's, he was a star of our show, Fringe, last year. Um, we featured his music. He, he helped co-write the music in the show. Um, and he is one of the special members that we've had. We've had him since 2016. So 2020 was his fifth year. That's um, not a usual position to be in. And he understands how to be in this group probably better than uh, anyone I've seen go through it. He um, is a kind of a guiding light, not only for the members and how they should operate, perform, act, um, just his dynamic. He, he knows how to talk to the staff. He knows when to get real with us and the timing and place and how to talk to us. Um, he's just very mature as a member. And, uh, you know, he's, he's fun to be around. He's, he's actually very humble, even though when he's sort of in his rap persona, he, he's doing his thing. But when you talk to him, it's, it's, he's sort of just on the same wavelength as he was in 2017 when I met him. And he was just at the beginning of this process of, of becoming the sort of superstar he is now. And getting to see him do his thing both um, at George Mason and through Crown, it's, it's, been, uh, it's been a very uh, awesome experience. I, I'm very proud to, uh, you know, have to, to get to say that I've worked with someone that has gotten themselves to the top, top level. Um, cause he could really march anywhere he wants, but he's, he's been extremely loyal to the programs that he's been in. Thank you to everyone. Thank you to all the members of George Mason, all the staff, all the administrators, all the media team, everyone that I get to work with on every level. It's honestly the most fun thing I do in my life. I love George Mason. Uh, I, I rep it hard. I never started wearing this stuff until, um, I came to this group and I felt like this was my, my family and, you know, I had been welcomed um, and, you know, all the crazy ideas that, that we put forward have, have been welcomed very wholeheartedly. So I thank everyone for, for that. And I look forward to sticking this out with everyone really for the foreseeable future. So let's do it. It's kind of impossible to choose a favorite member here with Green Machine. Getting to go to the Anthem in Washington, D.C. and play on stage with Grizz, it was just completely incredible. It was an amazing experience. I remember the fall going to the Halloween costume event. That was really cool. Um, getting to hear some other people play music in that setting. Another favorite memory that I have about Green Machine would definitely be the World Series. The World Series happened, that was amazing. Unfortunately, I didn't get to go to any of them, but just watching and seeing all my fellow members out there, I was like, you go, guys. It truly really was what the Green Machine's all about. You had kids of all talents just doing their thing and doing it for fun. Happened to be on national television, but it was an intimate setting as well. High School Band Aid was also a new experience for us this year. We got to invite a bunch of high schoolers from in the area, and we also got to invite high schoolers from out of the area as well to come perform with us during a basketball game. What made that performance um, amazing was just having so many musicians in one arena and just the sound, the sound of the this huge ensemble was just truly just amazing. 
Another thing that we got to do is we got to go play for the American Association of Colleges and University annual meeting. We got to play for a bunch of presidents of Ivy League universities and other major universities across the entire uh, across the entire country, basically. It's really good when a pep band as good as us gets to go play for all these presidents of universities so that they realize how important it is to fund their music programs. I always look forward to homecoming. You know, just the amount of people we get to perform in front of is amazing, and it's truly an unforgettable experience. Green Machines definitely helped me get outside of my comfort zone. I was horrible and didn't dance the first probably year and a half that I was in Green Machine. I don't think I would be the same person that I am today if I hadn't gone through the Green Machine. I don't think I would have the confidence. Even though my time has come um, to an end, and especially with the COVID-19, there are some things that I'm definitely missing out on in terms of my senior year, but I know Green Machine will always be a place where I'm welcome. First, I'd like to thank everyone in the staff department for not only just like seeing me, but seeing what I could become and the potential and kind of molding me into who I am today. Having somebody see that in you as a college student really inspires you to be something great. Doc, Julie, and Jeremy are just the greatest human beings. They mean a lot to me, more than they even know. It's amazing that I met and had the honor of working with just fine staff. Doc and Jeremy, oh my gosh, you know, I'll be back, <laughs> obviously. This is definitely going to be one of the best things I will have ever done in my life. And I will, have, I will never forget it. That's what Green Machine does for everyone as a whole. It, they make the seemingly impossible possible. So all things wouldn't be possible uh, without the great support of folks who have come through for us time and time again in rehearsal um, around performances and uh, a lot of teaching that goes on behind the scenes that uh, you may not even see happening um, online, in the practice rooms, or um, however else things may come together. And I want to just give a great thank you to all the help from Dr. Dave Porter, uh, especially with the Breathing with Dave segment and uh, all the things that go on in sectionals and during large ensembles, um, the sound and uh, that Dr. Uh, Matt Diefendorf was able to help us, you know, tune in even better as we go, all the little different details and um, also all the lessons um, taking care of all the students who um, were just working to get better just so that we could enjoy ourselves even more. And of course, uh, Andrew Velez, who um, was able to come and continue his great energy and uh, wonderful talents, making sure uh, everyone's moving in a direction that uh, keeps the energy of the band through the vocalists uh, moving, you know, and producing the way we want it to and, and keeping us going in a great direction. With the size and the complexity of the organization, uh, we wouldn't be anywhere without the layer of graduate students who, you know, bring their passion and their expertise and help help us just continue to, to fill in uh, and, and take care of all the things that uh, we didn't know we were going to need to do until we're standing there. And then uh, with their flexibility and uh, their ingenuity, they, they get us where we're going. I'm particularly impressed um, with the special projects that turn into their own ensembles. And I just want to thank our graduate fellows, Joe Antonucci, Justin Miller, Bobby Lacey, Sarah Fabian, Tyler Teagle, and Chris Troiano, uh, the, your, your unique talents and expertise continue to keep the Green Machine as unique and uh, just special as it possibly could be. And I wanna thank you so much for that. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Professor Jeremy Freer, who will talk about musical things. Hello, I'm Jeremy Freer. I'm one of the associate directors for the Green Machine Ensembles. And I would like to recognize the students who wrote arrangements for the band this year. They, uh, they spent countless hours behind the scenes and on their own time to make sure that we had fresh new music to play. And those students are Jasmine Carter, 
Anthony Das, Ryan Salek, Jimmy DeBruller, Nick Graziano, Joy Harper, and Grayson Crouch. Hello, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Ryan Carter, and I'm the Ensembles Coordinator for The Green Machine. And as many of you know, we have a dedicated team of students who help make sure that the pet band functions, the operations crew. These exceptional people run vital roles for the band, making sure that the equipment is where it needs to be, attendance gets taken, books get built, and people know generally what to do. The band couldn't function without them, and it's my honor to get to work with the crew and my privilege to announce their names. Our operation crew members graciously volunteer their time to make sure everyone else has what they need, and they are Nicole Clark, Anthony Doss, Zach Dietz, Kaylin May Kenny, Deanna Smith, and Derek Wallace. Now we also have a distinguished team of operation crew leaders who help make sure that we have everything we need, and those are Cameron Rose, our senior ops crew leader, Maddie Gaines, our library crew leader, Ryan Salek, our attendance crew leader, Matt Rice, our equipment and storage slash jersey crew leader, Chad Harris, our closet and storage crew leader, JJ Rechtenwald, our setup and strike crew leader, Melissa Pennett, fundraising crew leader, Josh Ellis, a fundraising crew leader, Angie Estay, our social media crew leader, Noah Hansen, our rhythm section crew leader, Jason Seiler, our rhythm section crew leader, and Tyler Teagle, our marketing fellow. Hi everybody, my name is Nicole and I have Deanna Smith and Tyler Teagle here with me and we're doing pet band superlatives. So without further ado, Tyler, take it away. Dynamic duo, Batman and Robin, Abbott and Costello, the Wonder Twins, Michael Scott and Dwight Schrute, all of these duos pale in comparison to the most dynamic duo of all time. So iconic. They're attached at the hip and great friends. The Dynamic Duo Award goes to Nicole Clark and Aaron Dooley. Congrats. And what a dynamic duo they are. They are definitely attached to the hip, but not as attached to the hip as this next person with all of his instruments. You know, anywhere from vocals, trumpet, banjo, mellophone, bass, and acoustic guitar, this person is always there to help Green Machine with whatever instrumentation is necessary. The winner of the Most Instruments Played Award goes to Cameron Rose, thank you. Congrats. For this next award, um, during winter, spring, summer, or fall, this person, no matter the temperature outside, even in Virginia, always needs ice in their coffee to get them throughout the day. The most likely to be found with an iced coffee award goes to Tori Williams. And this next person always brings warmth and light to the situation, always brings the smiles to the faces of the band and the fans. The most likely to be a comedian award goes to John Choi. Woo! Congratulations. One of the most resourceful people I have ever met. This person is always ready to MacGyver himself and other people out of any situation. And on top of that is one of the nicest people in Green Machine. The best person to be on a deserted island with is... Zach Dietz. Thank you. Congrats. All right, you guys are not ready for this one. This person plays loud, cheers loud, and you know him for jumping on the bleachers like a maniac, making him the loudest distraction for the opposing teams when they enter Eagle Bank Arena. The loudest award goes to the one, the only, Matt Rice. Congratulations and keep up the good spirits. <laughs> For this next award, I mean, what can I say? This guy, this guy plays lead, holding down the trumpet section with his killer chops and a horn angle that makes everyone ooh and ah. The best horn angle award goes to, what a stud, look at him, Ryan Salek. All right, so the most likely to win the lottery and lose the ticket. Just because you lose that ticket doesn't mean you still didn't win the lottery. The most likely to win the lottery and lose your ticket goes to the man, the myth, the legend, Anthony Das. Classic, Tony. <laughs> Next up is the Mom Award. We'd all be lost without some sort of mom in our lives. And always knowing the intricacies of setup, strike, call time, and everything library, the mom award goes to someone we'd all be lost without, 
Maddie Gaines. Thank you. Congratulations. The sports commentator. When you need to know the lowdown on the imposing team, you go to them. When you want to know stats for either team's star players, you go to them. They write for the fourth estate. They do an amazing job supporting Mason Athletics and also the WNBA. The winner of the Sports Commentator Award goes to Natalie Heverin and Dominic Allegra. They both do amazing work. We appreciate you both for everything. Chef's kiss. Moving on to the next one. Um, this next award goes to a person that is constantly on the Jumbotron in Eagle Mike Arena for her killer dance moves. And always, I mean always, is feeling the groove of the music and displaying her passion for what we do through her iconic dance moves. The award for best dance moves goes to Bree Calkins. Congratulations. Best soloist. Ever since they joined the band a few years ago, this person has never been afraid to try new things. They became a leader in their section, and they pushed everyone around them to play on a higher level musically. Sure, a drum head or stick or two got hurt in the process, but those are just calling cards of an amazing drummer. The best soloist award goes to Noah Hansen. Look at him, he's solo in nature. He's soloing on the drum set. What a man. Thanks again for everyone that participated and congratulations to all of our winners. I am very honored and privileged to be able to introduce this year's Green Machine Ensemble Senior Class. This group of students have demonstrated great attitude, leadership, and commitment to our mission and values and will be sorely missed. This year's seniors are Angie Este, Melissa Pennant, Veronica Brown, Mackenzie Love, Kayla Shelton, Natalie Heverin, Mariah Rogers, Joy Harper, Clara Breeding, Rianne Connolly, Laverne Curry, Nevedita Anjaria, Patrick Kearney, Alex Taylor, Jamie Prohoski, Kate Hahn, Mark Steinglen, Annie Gusky, Noah Hansen, Kelly Brenner, Garrett Hankel, Austin Griffith, Linwood Gorham, Anthony Doss, Jack Shearling, Emma Gregory, and Samaria Moss. As you are getting ready to embark on your new lives outside of George Mason University, remember that we still value your involvement with the organization. You can engage in many ways. Get involved and become a member of the newly energized Green Machine Ensembles Alumni Chapter. Volunteer when and where you can. Come back for alumni events and play with the band and start giving back. Help provide the opportunities you had to the future Green Machine members. Even if you can only give a dollar, it's a start. As they say, pay it forward. No, we are proud of you and look forward to seeing you come back. You are a Green Machine member for life. Congratulations to all the ensembles on another great year, as unusual as it was. Now, you can't leave the Green Machine ensembles. Once you're a part of it, you're part of it, and you're always part of the band. My name is David Roth, and I graduated from George Mason, class of 2011, and I participated in the Pep Band, Drumline, and Kappa Kappa Psi. Although I'm no longer a Mason student, I am a member of the Green Machine Ensembles. Some of you, like I did, are transitioning to a new chapter of your relationship with the Green Machine Ensembles. And there's a group that helps organize us, the Green Machine Ensembles Alumni Association Chapter. If you've participated in any of the Green Machine Ensembles, Winter Guard, Drumline, Pet Band, or any of the ever-expanding breadth of ensembles, you are a member of the Alumni Chapter. The alumni chapter helps organize social service and fundraising. For the pet band, we've had an alumni picnic over the summer to get everybody back together, enjoy each other's company. For the winter guard and drumline, we could organize trips to regionals and Dayton as fans and helpers to those groups. The chapter is being organized right now. and Our next interest meeting is on May 6th. Coming up after that, we'll elect leadership positions for the chapter. 
And there will be Winter Guard and Drumline specific leadership positions to help organize activities for those groups. The places to get information are the Facebook alumni groups. For the Drumline, the group is called George Mason University Drumline Alumni. For the Winter Guard, the group is called George Mason University Winter Guard Alumni and Friends. For the pet band and for everybody, there's a group called Green Machine Alumni. I look forward to seeing you on May 6th. Congratulations. It's time for the Section of the Year Award. This is always a much anticipated and a highly sought after honor. And it has definitely gone to the sections who have come in and just raised the level of performance in a way that sometimes is unexpected, sometimes takes us somewhere we've never been before. And uh, the section of the year this year has done those two in a way, oh boy, that just uh, was unexpected and a wonderful addition. And I want to thank the Green Machine dance team, Emerald Desire, for coming in and just changing uh, the look and the feel and the energy uh, by just being yourselves and doing your thing. And uh, it couldn't be more special. And I really appreciate it. Thank you. Every year we give out an award to the rookie who has just come in and uh, changed our lives for the better. And uh, couldn't go to a more deserving freshman, uh, Amaya Thomas, the founder of Emerald Desire. Congratulations. Every year we do impact awards uh, to recognize people who have shown up time and time again and either uh, brought something unique to the band that has moved us in a great new direction, or people who have just done the thing they know needed to be done and has uh, sustained our trajectory and sustained our momentum. And uh, I have some honorable mentions for folks who have uh, continued to, to just have a great impact on the band. The honorable mentions go to Joy Harper, Natalie Heverin, Jamie Prohaska, Mariah Rogers, Kayla Shelton, Bobby Lacey, Zach Dietz, Justin Miller, Anthony Doss, Madison Gaines, Melissa Pennett, and Matt Rice. Thank you. So the first Impact Award uh, goes to a very special person uh, who came in and with very little instruction uh, brought all of her unique talents and her uh, great personality and great spirit and um, you know, I could, I could just watch every performance and just see so much joy and strong musicianship happening. And uh, the first Impact Award goes to Veronica Brown uh, in the Auxiliary Percussion. It's my pleasure to be able to give two Impact Awards to Austin Griffith and to Alex Taylor, who consistently showed up, did what they were supposed to without being asked, and contributed in that way in excellence to the Green Machine. Thank you. Hey everybody, my name is Josh Cruz and I'm senior producer with Green Machine Media, a team that brings you productions like this as well as provides audio, video, and media coverage of all of our ensembles here at uh, Green Machine. Uh, really excited tonight to be giving out an Impact Award, first award I've ever gotten to give out, and um, just really glad to be giving it uh, to someone who I've gotten to know this semester, has been a fantastic uh, member of our team, uh, has pitched in, has been willing to help with everything from uh, video editing to filming to, you know, things that maybe they didn't necessarily know uh, how to do when they came in, but uh, has definitely learned how to do it uh, through the course of the semester, uh, has also been a musician with the ensemble for several years. Uh, I'm proud to present the Impact Award to Mackenzie Love. In addition to Mackenzie's uh, assistance with video editing and uh, all things media for us this semester, Mackenzie has also really helped to bring about awareness of how our ensembles and how our productions can be accessible to all and can um, really really be be productions and be things that we offer that everybody can participate in uh, regardless of their abilities and so i've learned a lot from her <laughs> a lot of times i feel like i've learned more from her perhaps than uh, i've been able to teach her um, but it has been an excellent uh, excellent semester 
getting to know Mackenzie and really looking forward to seeing where she's going to go in the years ahead. Every year we give out a spirit award to those members of the band who show up in their face paint, who dance, who basically elevate the spirit of everyone around them. Uh, and those were really hard to select from uh, this year because there are so many who show up and bring great attitudes to the band. Um, some honorable mentions that I'd like to mention are Mariah Rogers, Noah Hansen, Aaron Grossman, Derek Wallace, Cameron Rose, Tyler Teagle, Veronica Brown, Melissa Thurmond, Maddie Gaines, Ryan Salik, Desi Hatsukos, Tori Williams, and Jeff Overby. And the winners of the Spirit Award for this year are Garrett Henkel, Emma Mankin, Jack Shearling, Matt Rice, and Brianna Calkins. Thank you for your spirits and your contributions to the Green Machine. Hi everyone, my name is Julie Tricula and I'm the other Associate Director for the Green Machine Ensembles. I'm going to be presenting the Leadership Awards alongside Ryan Carter. The Leadership Award is given to students who take an active leadership role in the band throughout the year. This award is typically given for both visible and invisible leadership contributions. Our honorable mentions for the 2020 Leadership Award are Noah Hansen, Joy Harper, Mariah Rogers, Kayla Shelton, Bobby Lacey, Zach Dietz, Justin Miller, Madison Gaines, and Melissa Pennant. The first recipient of the 2020 Leadership Award is Ryan Salik. Ryan has taken great initiative as a pep band operations crew leader. He helped make a seamless transition of the attendance system to Mason 360. Ryan is always around at gigs. He's always smiling and has a great attitude, setting a great example for all those around him. In addition, Ryan continues to contribute to the band by writing charts. Congratulations, Ryan. The second recipient of the 2020 Leadership Award is Jimmy DeBruyler. This year, Jimmy stepped up and led the trombone section as older members graduated out. Jimmy was at almost every game and event we had and always shows up with a smile and a go get him attitude. In addition to being an amazing player and great leader, Jimmy also writes charts for the band. Congratulations, Jimmy. Our next recipient of the 2020 Leadership Award is Jason Seiler. Jason shows leadership in the pep band rhythm section. He always has a great attitude and is not afraid of hard work. Congratulations, Jason. Our last recipient of the 2020 Leadership Award is none other than Cameron Rose. From day one with the Green Machine, Cameron has been a leader. He started out as a freshman ops crew member and quickly rose to fill my old role as senior operations crew leader. Cameron has done a phenomenal job leading the operations crew this year and never hesitates to go the extra mile. Always the first one there and the last one to leave, Cameron sets an amazing example for the rest of the band. Thanks for being a great leader, Cameron, and for always keeping me on my toes. Congratulations. Thank you, Julian Ryan, and congratulations to everybody. Moving on, the pep band uh, wouldn't be what it is without music. And um, we definitely have a, a large number of people who uh, contribute to that in so many different ways. But I wanna give some honorable mentions specifically in the, uh, in the area of musicianship. Annie Gusky, Noah Hansen, Joy Harper, Kate Shrimpton Hahn, Mariah Rogers, Kayla Shelton, Alex Taylor, Bobby Lacey, Anthony Doss, Madison Gaines, Aaron Grossman, Ryan Salek, Jimmy DeBruyler, Tori Williams, Josh Ellis, T. Sam Clark, and Cassandra Torres. And the Musicianship Awards go to Jason Seiler, Tyler Teagle, and Cameron Rose. Thank you for everything and congratulations. Our service awards are given out to those who look for ways to put their unique talents to work to make the band greater than it was when they found it. And I think that's a really honorable thing to do. And we'd love to recognize those folks with 
the service award for the Green Machine Ensembles. Um, some honorable mentions in this category, people who really put in the time and effort. Those folks, the honorable mentions are Joy Harper, Samaria Moss, Zach Dietz, Mariah Rogers, Kayla Shelton, Alex Taylor, Bobby Lacey, Justin Miller, Anthony Doss, Aaron Grossman, Ryan Salek, Cameron Rose, Melissa Pennett, Destiny Amadi, Aaron Dooley, Meryl Rabinovsky, Kaylin May Kenny, Josh Ellis, and Matt Rice. And the award recipients for the service award this year are Madison Gaines, Deanna Smith, Nicole Clark, Chad Harris, and JJ Rechtenwald. Thank you so much for your selfless and so many hours of service to the Green Machine Ensembles. The Ocho Award is a Green Machine tradition to honor individual members' unique contributions to the program. This year, we have three recipients that we would like to honor with this award. The first recipient is someone who has been integral to the department. Throughout her time in the Green Machine Ensembles, she has made a huge impact on our social media and marketing initiatives, as well as acting as the connective tissue to one of our most active ensembles, the GMU Indoor Drumline. She is a ray of sunshine in the office, making sure we all stay lighthearted and enjoy life. She always makes sure that we have at least one to 10 giggling fits per week. I am so happy to present the Ocho Award to Angie Este. Congratulations, Angie. The next Ocho Award will be presented by Jeremy Freer. Thank you, Julie. This uh, Ocho Award goes out to somebody who looks at me like this a lot when I'm trying to dance in front of the band, which made me realize that maybe I need to up my game. But besides her uh, side eyes and her, um, her sass, she also has been one of the greatest musicianship uh, contributors to the band, just an outstanding singer. Um, and also has such a great attitude, uh, no matter what's going on in her life. Um, I watch her basically make everyone around her uh, lift, lift their spirits. She lifts the spirits of everyone around her. And uh, it's my pleasure to present uh, Mariah Rogers with the second Ocho Award for this year. Congratulations, Mariah. And now to Doc for the final Ocho Award. The third and final Ocho Award this year goes to a very special individual um, in the spirit of the Ocho, uh, where the things that we just seem to need the most show up out of nowhere, well, not really out of nowhere, show up out of uh, just a unlimited uh, well of talent. And uh, the third and final Ocho Award this year goes to Cameron Rose, um, because he was able to seamlessly put together his performing ability on brass and singing and in costume and at away games and just a, just an amazing, amazing person. But then when it, as soon as I turn around some other way, he's cleaning up or he's checking people in or he's taking care of people. He's taking care of me. He's taking care of us and uh, in a way that only he can do. And um, so thank you, Cameron. The final award that I get to give out tonight is the Green Light Award. The Green Light Award is an award that recognizes someone who, by their participation on our team, has really made a lot of things possible that wouldn't have happened without them. Um, contributions that, that range from bringing different abilities to our team uh, to always being willing to step in and uh, serve in a capacity that maybe they're not always comfortable with and have a lot of experience with, but they're going to take the initiative to learn and develop the skills to be able to step in and be able to serve in that capacity. Uh, the person who's winning this award uh, has become a great personal friend of mine as well as a colleague. Um, I remember when I first, uh, my first memory of him really uh, was a Mason Madness rehearsal several years ago. and. Um, Due to what I do uh, with with those events, I'm typically one of the last people to leave. 
uh, the arena for a uh, rehearsal uh, night before the show. And uh, I remember this person was actually hanging around longer than I was. And uh, they were actually taping down cables on the floor, uh, which is something that's really important for my crew because that's how we make sure that when we're running around with cameras, uh, we don't trip and fall. And uh, right then and there, I knew that this was somebody who really cared about performers, cared about the production, and uh, also really cared about, about people and keeping them safe and making sure that everybody had the best experience they could. And uh, since then, um, his abilities have grown. He's uh, stepped into roles that um, you know he, he had interest in but didn't have a lot of experience in and uh, was still willing to, to step in and help us uh, and at times has been the other 50% of Green Machine Media uh, long before we had uh, the team that we have today. Uh, so I'd like to recognize for the inaugural Green Light Award, Mark Stenglein. Mark, thank you so much for everything that you've done for Green Machine Ensembles. We're all very thankful for all the different skills that you bring to us, not only making uh, us safer in what we do, uh, but also making our experiences better as well. So congratulations, Mark, and congratulations to all the award winners tonight. This year, I get the honor of giving out my own award, and I figured what was more appropriate than calling it the Dad Award. However, the Dad Award isn't just a clever pun on a fun nickname you all gave me. Um, it's actually an acronym for the Distinguished Award for Dedication. This award goes to the people that we all owe a lot to. This award is for people who demonstrate a dedication to our ensemble that is above and beyond the call of duty. Arriving early, staying late, volunteering for extra work, and a lot of things that nobody else sees. There are two recipients of the Dad Award this year, and the first ever recipient of the award is Madison Gaines. Madison is not only an operations crew leader and vocalist slash aux percussionist, but she took on the hefty task of managing the library for the pep band this year, along with Professor Freer. Maddie works tirelessly to implement the new books into the band and always made sure she was available to help people during rehearsals and games to make sure everyone had music. She also spent countless hours outside of rehearsal to make sure that all of the books stayed up to date and functional. Thank you, Maddie, so much for your dedication to The Green Machine. The second recipient of the Dad Award this year is Aaron Grossman. Aaron has gone to almost every single rehearsal, game, and event that the Green Machine has had since he started with the band. Not only does Aaron do an amazing job on the drums, he also makes sure to arrive very early for every game and rehearsal to make sure that the drum set and rhythm section are set up and ready to go. Aaron also came to every single break game this year to make sure that the pep band still sounded amazing. Thank you, Aaron, for your dedication to the Green Machine. This year, we were able to launch our student fundraising committee. So I get the distinct pleasure of presenting the first annual fundraiser award, and it goes to Melissa Pennant. Mel demonstrated leadership and willingness to jump in with both feet. Because of her, we were able to launch a successful restaurant fundraiser, increase our, our donor engagement at the annual Arts by George fundraiser in the fall, and collect many items needed to run a successful silent auction at our annual donor reception. Mel, it's been a true pleasure working with you. I know you're gonna achieve great things in life and your leadership, attitude, and enthusiasm will be missed greatly next year. Congratulations. The General Manager's Award is typically given to a student or students who exemplify leadership, service, impact, and spirit. These folks are high achieving and high contributing members of the band whose work may sometimes seemingly go unnoticed. They work tire tireless hours behind the scenes to enhance the experience of the band for all of us. The first recipient of the 2020 General Manager's Award goes to someone who is always asking, how can I help? What can I do? I feel like I'm not doing enough. I want to help more. This person has undergone tremendous personal and professional growth in his time in the band. He arranges charts, and I know I have enjoyed watching his journey during his time with us. Congratulations go to Anthony Doss. The second recipient of my award goes to someone who is always so friendly and easy to talk to. She has been a committed member of the band since her freshman year. She's one of our information sources when it comes to stats, schedules, and future insights on sports teams. She always makes sure the Green Machine is well represented in all student publications across campus. Congratulations go to Natalie Hevron. 
My final award recipient of the evening goes to someone who has been a high contributing member of the ensembles pretty much since day one. He always puts the Green Machine Ensembles at the forefront of his priorities list. He warms up and conducts the band, writes Drill for Mason Madness, performs on many gigs, often filling in for one of our staff members or graduate fellows when necessary, and will routinely have folks get confused with who he is and call him Ryan or Jeremy. We're lucky to have him on our team, and I sincerely appreciate his contributions to the Green Machine Ensembles and to George Mason University. Congratulations go to Justin Miller. The Freer Award is given each year since I invented it to the folks who embody many of the qualities that we give awards for, but have had direct, um, direct impact on my life. And I've learned just as much um, from them as I hope they have from me. Um, they've used their talents uh, in service to the band without expectation of um, recognition. They, uh, they were selfless and they were kind and they're just very real human beings and I'm proud to know them. So, congratulations. Zach Dietz. On your Freer Award. Congratulations. Noah Hansen. On your Freer Award. Congratulations. Kayla Shelton. On your Freer Award. The Green Machine Director's Award goes to individuals that have demonstrated all of the service, all of the leadership, all of the artistry, all the citizenship, and uh, have uh, just, just uh, been above and beyond, not only in a few of the categories, but all of the categories. And um, just the kind of folks that make teaching, make my, uh, make my work, um, make me honored to do this work. And uh, once again, I'm giving two director's awards um, as it gets impossible to come up with just one. And um, the contributions that Joy Harper and Bobby Lacey have brought to this organization over the years, being able to perform ways we wouldn't be able to without you, um, thinking about all the special projects that we've done outside of the pet band and make sure that the university um, is just always feeling great and feeling great about us. Um, you know, the ways that y'all are able to perform based on things that you just know on your own. I mean, there's so much stuff that we wouldn't even have time to teach you, but since you just brought so much to the table, you were able to just do it. And uh, it has just been an honor spending every day we could doing, doing our thing. And um, just congratulations to you both. You're both very special to me. Hello, Green Machine. This is your Dean speaking. Thank you for a great year. Sorry it was cut short, but I know you are all making music and raising spirits and making us all proud wherever you are, playing whatever you do, and being that great thing that is a source of Patriot pride. Go Green Machine, go Mason. All right, everyone. It has been, like I said, a real honor going over all this material and putting it together. And um, the thought of y'all out there um, able to enjoy this and uh, feel like we got to spend some time together, uh, even though we're apart. Um, I hope this did its job. And, um, you know, I guess in closing, I just want to make sure y'all know um, how much it means to me to get to work with all of you, um, how much it means to me to have your 
support and and get your back you know you get my back on uh things that seem like crazy ideas even when we first talk about them and then uh just think about all the things you've just seen and heard and um we did it we did this we did that we did that things we could have never even dreamed we, we were gonna do and then we just do them um and so i guess the last thing i'll say is i am giddy thinking about the best stuff is ahead of us so uh i'll see you all for that take care everybody